Okay. Sparkles. So many sparkles. Hi, Vixie. <laughs> Alright, sending the tweets now. Alright, tweet has been sent. Posting to the Reddit Lotro. Or Lotro on Reddit. Posted and posting to Facebook. I think I can predict what Veeks is gonna say to that. Hashtag delete Facebook. He is not a fan. In case you were wondering. <laughs> Do something noisy in game. Eh, I don't know why I can do noisy. Uh, I don't have any screams. Maybe... Uh, I need a valid target. The uh, music is kind of quiet. I can turn up the music. Options. Let's turn up the master volume a little bit. Just a little bit, because MMOs tend to be fairly loud sometimes. Cast a self buff? Um, actually. There we go. Self buff, and then what is it? Heal. There we go. How's that sound? Oh, yep, roar, yeah. And look at that, I am magically healing. And I have all the rage. Oh, I was gonna say the rage meter was stuck. Well, Hello everybody, my name is Aaron Romeo Moon Burke, and I am here to retry... Oh, hey, Bless. Well, I have to try Bless online at some point, but for today, we are uh, going to uh, retry this session play. It is Volume 1, Book 14, Chapter 4, The, Prim the Prisoner of Samoth Ball. Uh, if you recall, last time we live-streamed this, it kind of glitched. Like, uh, for me it glitched, and I believe Randy got kicked out, so really... I did finish, though. Oh, Rand did eventually finish, but I think it was Barry, Matt, and Sarah were the ones who were able to complete it, and I, I could not. So, I got to the final portion of the, uh, of the session play, and uh, it, it just bugged out with the, with the uh, cutscene at the end. Uh, so, <laughs> game's a little quiet, but okay. Hmm. I wonder. Let me see if I can adjust that. It could be OBS. Oh wow, desktop audio is all the way up. So, let me just go into the game again and turn up the master volume just a little bit more. So let's try this here. It's uh, not uh, timed out anymore, but yeah, if you quit the session, you ha you are timed out for about 10 minutes. So you have to wait 10 minutes before you can attempt it again. Which was not a lot of fun for a live stream at the time. It's not really the greatest way of doing that. Okay, so we get a slightly different looking blood letter. <laughs> And Vixie po posts a craft fist. Shake fist! In Samoth Bowl, the elf lord Lairdan was tormented, both in body and mind. Even elves can only endure for so long, though Lairdan resisted to the last. When pain alone proved ineffective, Amarthiel turned to deception. Hmm. Everything. I was gonna say everything looks kind of brownish and washed out, but we haven't approached her yet. My and we read this before. Have the ring. I have important assignment for you, Bloodletter. If you carry it to twelve, I might allow your choice of the treasures from our latest captives. Trev Galor, Galorg, uh, may be poor, but sometimes they fashion things of great worth, and you might earn yourself a pretty bauble. I have received word that our mistress will be coming to Samoth Ball, 
to question the elf Lairdin, and I want everything to run smoothly during her visit. The corpses in the tower have given rise to tremendous uh, blood leeches, and their filth and disease has been distracting for the rest of my servants. I want you to destroy the blood leeches before the mistress arrives. Alright, so, as with session play, we get, like, a couple of different attacks. Frontal attack against multiple opponents, against foes of darkness, uh, shake off stu dazes stuns and fellowship maneuver stuns, recover from being knocked down, but not from dread and full immobilize. Alright. I remember never ever using this one, so... <laughs> Uh, and then of course interrupt attacks take uh, that take preparation serving you see there is no time for anything else all right okay so that one does bleed damage yeah I never sat down and looked at any of these powers so maybe if I know how to use them a little bit more efficiently I can get through this a little bit faster targets in front of you so these two are our area of effect pretty much cone effect in front of us and then that's our healing oh cool evade High crit. Okay. So I was trying to hit the high crit one. Because I wanted to try to pare down the enemies as fast as I can. Your mistress is wasting her time, bloodletter. Long may the minstrel sing the defiance of Laird and of Linden. I hear the tea in Linden is very nice. Linden tea. Oh, yeah, these guys are sleeping. <laughs> I miss Barry talking over it. Laird and Snore. Actually, it's, uh... What is it? Resident Sleeper. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can do this a little bit faster. I'm gonna go ahead, increase my evade. Come on. never triggered really. Alright, so that went a little bit faster. a little bit slightly faster. Someone save us! We've done nothing wrong! You sound like a girl. Is enough that you are Trev Galor- that you are here. Uh, is enough that you are Trev Galor. You will find no mercy here. Hmm. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Sluggy! Yeah. 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 This is the Pierce one. Let's pop hole in the slug. <laughs> Vixie says, hey guys. There we go. Three. I hate the slime. Alright, let's see here. Now we're getting through the slugs a little bit faster this time. There we go. Uh, even slows you down outside of the thing. Okay. I got to see what he says. 
You're dealing with the blood leeches? Pity. It is a pleasure to watch them feed on the corpses. Still, Morvin's word is but one step removed from that of our mistress. You are wise to obey. That's... Wow. I guess you gotta get your jollies when you can get them. And I keep wanting to hit, uh... Shift to sprint. Ah, there. Speaking of jelly-filled jo joys... More bleed damage for you, haha. <laughs> Uh -huh, five out of eight. We're almost done here. Yes, definitely going much faster than last time. Oh, geez, I almost stepped on that one. They snare you, it seems. Yeah, it's like a snare. And it, like, lasts... It, it hits outside of their little, um... What is it? Tell box that they have? I keep forgetting... I keep forgetting what that's called in games nowadays. I know it has a specific name. The area of effect that, uh... Border. I'm also a little bit sleepy. I just got... Uh, well, last night, we didn't just get back, but last night when we saw three movies in one night, it was uh, $5 per ticket, so it was uh, well worth it, well worth it for us, because we hadn't yet seen Infinity War, and we got to see that, we hadn't seen Deadpool 2, uh, and we also got to watch, um, we were able to watch Solo, Star Wars Story. Which was a lot better than I thought it would be, but still pretty cliche. To be honest. Spoilers. Well, not really. I don't know. I don't know if you'd call that a spoiler, but still. I'm, go I'm gonna go ahead and reaffirm that it was fairly cliche, but entertaining. I haven't seen Deadpool or Solo yet, so I'll try not to speak any more about those. I'm sure that there's some people who haven't seen Infinity War anyway, so... We'll be discussing that on the podcast. We'll be discussing it on the podcast, but yeah. That useless Gorthrog asked Moravin if I can do away with uh, Lozadurk, will you? He's His stench is drawing the blood leeches. Oh, there you go. A little bit of insight into... Uh, what is it? Maybe speciesism or racism? The door that leads nowhere. I'm not going to attempt to go out here. I know the door doesn't work. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I tried it last time and it didn't work, but uh, I don't want to accidentally get teleported and fail the session and have to wait 10 minutes and then do this all over again. Because as speedy as it was to kill the blood leeches this time, it was still pretty slow going. So let's see here. Have I spoken to all of these other NPCs? Because I didn't speak to all of them last time. Seems like they always have something new to say. Pretty sure I spoke to that guy. He was the one who was uh, saddened about the blood leeches, and this guy is like just taunting those prisoners. Um, let's see here. Lots of colorful atmosphere here. Very, you know... Very Samoth Bali. And you don't have anything. No torture. No torture you can devise could pain me more than my own failings have done. Don't beat yourself up. No, let, let, let us do that for you. <laughs> Vixie shouts, no spoilers in the chat. I will not I will not continue to discuss the movies we saw other than the fact that we saw them. And I'm I'm the reviews tonight should also be spoiler free. Hopefully, if you're watching an unearthly podcast, which is our Doctor Who podcast we'll show tonight, you pain. 10 p.m. to midnight. Uh, have you? You have cleared the Tower of Blood Leeches. 
You will go far, Bloodletter. Perhaps I will tell our mistress of your dedication when she arrives. What? The Tarkrip are all asleep and Lozerduk as well? I would never question our mistress, but I do not understand why she would send such spineless sluggards to guard Samoth Ball. Surely the Bloodletters under my command are sufficient. Awaken all the sleeping Tarkrip and that useless Gothrog. As well, as if, he, if he is to be key master, he should at, be at least at his post outside the tower. Use your boot if necessary, bloodletter. These Tarkrib appear worthless, but the mistress was very clear they be used. Let's see what My else she says. Lord will soon have the ring. I will not allow the Tarkrib to spend this time in slumber. Awaken them all and that worthless Gothrog as well. Anyone else want to say anything? Huh? Everybody gets a say here. All the NPCs. There are no NPCs here. You're all valuable characters. Whom I will remember for forever and forever after this. Kill everyone. Take Narquil for yourself, says Vixi. I wish I could. You're lucky to have the favor of the lady or I'd make you pay for this. <coughs> I wish I could do one of Matt's voices, but my throat is a little phlegmy right now. Maybe that would be to my advantage. These Tarkrit are the best guards your mistress could find. The slugs would make better servants. <laughs> Actually, I've heard you can train slugs. Make a little maze out of salt. That'll learn them fast. <laughs> Vixie does the what face. <laughs> What's the idea, Worm? Think, think you've got power, do you? Ha ha ha. I actually kind of want to play more Lotro today, but I've got so, so much to do. So much to do. I've got to fold clothes, I have to vacuum. Up. Oh. Have mercy, you have to let us out of here! No! Ha 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 ha! This were a pop-up book, I'd like... Uh, go on with your task, Bloodletter. I will deal with these prisoners. What is our mistress thinking? Why assign Tarkrip to this tower instead of one of the more formidable tribes? Surely she has some plan? I don't know what it could be. Perhaps after I kill these prisoners, I will spend some time in contemplation of our mistress's purposes. Thinking of, uh, maybe moving up in the world, huh? Yeah, uh, maybe making sure that her fish is a little undercooked or something. I don't know, that's that's probably how I'd poison someone. I should get you for that miserable car. Well, too bad. <laughs> that's some motivation. There you go. You swine, I should have my boys teach you a lesson for that. I didn't know you had children. Okay, I don't know if there's one around here. Well, let's talk to this guy and see what new stuff he has to say. Uh, the Tarkrip need to learn discipline. We, should, we could teach them something of it. You and I bleed some of them and kill the rest. The ones that remain will be more vigilant. Make sure to have plenty of maxi pads with you. <laughs> that was a menstruation joke. I can do that, I can say that, and it won't be weird. Maybe. I don't know. No, Sorry if it was still weird. weird. Still weird. <laughs> Feel free to send me another what face, Vix Vixy. It'll be fine. Your time is ending, Bloodletter. The Tarkrip have been chosen by the lady. The lady of the lake. Where is your Excalibur now, Tarkrip? Oh wow, I just phased right through that torch. It's okay, I'm magic. Magic Mike. Ah, oh, here we go. You! I wish I could just p pick up that dead person and just kind of start beating him with an arm or a leg or something. That's what this game needs more of. I won't forget this blood layer. You won't always have her favor. <laughs> I 
guess who's getting a promotion? Let's see here. I wasn't sleeping. Don't tell the lady. I won't tell if you won't. Oh man, look at all this food just laying around. I'm going to waste. Look at that. Oh, here. Let's see what this guy has to say first before we wake in the last one. The Tarquip are worthless. Uh, Sabbath Bowl was better protected before they arrived. What could the mistress possibly have in mind? Let's see here. Come on! Cheer up, little guy! I believe in you! The guardhouse? I'm going, but don't let me see you when I come back, puny one. Wow. I got quite a smile. Let's see. Does this guy change his tune? Maybe we'll be lucky that Lozu Dirk will not come back from this post. Or from his post. I wish you could explore a little bit more, but I guess it is session play. Can't really talk to anyone else again. They're just minions. It's alright. way. I always get lost around here. Isn't there another person I can talk to? I thought there was another person I could talk to. I'm just lonely. I'm just a lonely, lonely gal. Wow, the red torches. Ah ha ha. Look at that. They're all dead. That's what you get. Actually, I think he was laying the other way around last time I played. So I wonder if that was like the first sign of a glitch. I like how they pinpoint out the cell here with the orange torches versus the green ones. I'm getting ideas for Conan Exiles, that's for sure. Man, I really just want to spend some time playing this game a little bit more. Even if it's just grinding up deeds. New deeds, dirty deeds, done dirt cheap. Wow. You know, I wonder if it ever occurred to Lairdin to take some of the slime from the slugs and just kind of wiggle your way out of here somehow. I'm pretty sure it could be done. Just knock out some of this, that lattice on the wall there. Such a friendly bunch. Yes, I know. I just love talking to them. Oh, I think this is what I did wrong. Okay, so this is where it glitched for me. I think I ran past Morven. And it just kind of messed up. So let's see here. I will Our show you pain. <laughs> Our mistress has arrived, Bloodletter. Since you have been of such use, I grant you this boon to watch her interrogation of the Elf Laird. And some few of your brothers have also been given this great honor that they too may be rewarded. Let us watch the interrogation, Bloodletter. This should be amusing. Hopefully it doesn't glitch. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. There we go. Oh yeah. It actually worked this time. His will is strong, mistress. Yes, we are fortunate. Fortunate? I do not understand. I will make it will t make Laird in a more useful pawn. Bong. Father. Nabalith, my daughter, is that you? How can this be? I do not have much time, father. I cannot resist her for long. Is Narquil still hidden from them? Half, half they have found pulling the location from my mind. I am sorry. But I have strengthened my resolve. They will never find the second half of Narquil. My daughter, why do you cry? It was the power of Nerkwil that brought me under the, her spell, father. It Only its power can free me from Amarthia forever.
but the ring lies sundered, broken in two. Its power remains. If the two halves were brought together, I could reforge Narquil. I could save you. Of course, Vixie's doing his broke back. Uh, one half of the ring is being kept in the fastness of Baradurgo. Perhaps one of your friends could retrieve it for you. But where lies the other half of Narquil? Forohel. It is somewhere in Forohel, but I do not know where. Thank you, Father. He's turning into Gollum. So the other half of Narquil is somewhere near the ice bay. Mistress, I would be honored to travel north in search of the ring. No, Marvin, I have need of you here. There are other. What's wrong, Mistress? Lozadurk is dead. Laird and his allies will come. Prepare yourself, Marvin. Your death will be of some use to Angmar. Bloodletter, come here. My lord will soon have the ring. You heard our mistress. Ella's of the elf will soon arrive to bring him to freedom. Return him at once to his cell, Bloodletter. We will not give his friends the pleasure of seeing him alive. Bring Laird and back to his cell. You others search these bodies for anything useful. Wait, can I talk to these guys? No. Oh, you can actually see stuff over here. Oh, it's actually like a prisoner writhing in pain. I didn't notice that. It was a nice touch. Alright. Persuading. Come on! Come on, I've got a cookie for you. A lot of crash echoes around the room. It's too late, but the elf will die here, as we will, for Angbar and the mistress. Prisoner Samus Bull. All right. They're dumb, dumb as fuck. Yes, uh, failfish. Beeksy is uh, unimpressed with Laird and um, how Laird and has handled this stuff here. So that was that half hour. There was the uh, was the quest that had bugged for me. So hopefully, well, I know I know for sure now that I have it on film. So I have my own like little my own little thing for it. What is this now? Oh, that's new mail. I know I have new mail. I can't help it. But yes, yeah, so that's going to be it for now. That's where we left off with the rest of the group, and we'll come. We will continue it on Thursday, uh, 9:30 p.m. We'll continue the uh, epic quest line with the rest of the group. I was just doing the stream to try to um, grab on film a quest that had bugged for me, the uh, Prisoner of Samoth Bull um, quest uh, session play, I should say specifically. So. Uh, now that we have that, um, I'm able to move on to other things. Uh, tonight is, of course, the Unearthly Podcast, uh, 10 p.m. until midnight. If you're if you enjoy Doctor Who, you can join us on that here on Twitch. Uh, tomorrow is the Lord of the Rings online uh, live stream uh, for myself and Mad Matt Windchill at 2185 on Twitch. So uh, he he and I will be uh, simul simul streaming that uh, the rest of this epic quest line here as far as we can get Friday I'm not sure we'll probably do some more well we may not be able to do Diablo because I might swap with someone for a shift on Friday but Saturday I'll try to figure out something to do as well I don't know we may, we may just have the uh, Lotro live stream we'll see 
it's getting pretty busy lately, so um, I'm having less time to stream nowadays with staffing a convention that's coming up in August, GeekCon, if you want to check us out. But uh, if you're curious about any other streams that I do, you can go ahead and check out the channel here. Stay tuned to the channel on Twitch. Follow. Uh, soon I will be getting a subscribe button, hopefully. I'm still waiting for the tax in interview information to go through, but otherwise I will have reached affiliate status, thanks to everybody. Um, Vixi, Krister, um, uh, John, Arsamang, Angle, um, Ed, Sarah, Matt, Randy, uh, Barry, <laughs> everybody who kind of helped uh, make that make that possible. Um, it's been something I've been trying to push for since about February, but uh, to be honest, though, I vastly underestimated the uh, value of Reddit, posting to Reddit. So I've started posting my live streams there. Hopefully people aren't too annoyed with that. Um, and hopefully it'll enable them to find me on here. But yes, you can follow me, or hopefully soon subscribe to me on Twitch. Uh, I can find the archive for the live streams on my YouTube channel. I also do very rarely nowadays, but I still do a podcast occasionally called Lounge Leets. Follow me on Twitter at Mystic Tales. Uh, like the Lounge Leets page, and also join the Lounge Leets Steam community if you if you're interested in that. I also do have a Patreon. Uh, let me see here. Whoop. There we go. Come on. Alright, so we also have Patreon, any stream labs that you can donate to, and also through PayPal if you prefer that. So, hopefully uh, we'll be back to things as they usually are uh, tomorrow on Thursday. Oh, <laughs> okay, everybody, have a good night. Talk to you later.